Hi there. In this screencast, I'll sign up for a free hosting site at 000webhosts.com. Uh, the reason for this is I'll, I'll need um, a web server so I can run PHP MySQL as well as PHP MyAdmin so I can manipulate my databases. Um, I'll be interacting with those databases via PHP and MySQL, but I need to create them on the host. So um, I'm just going to quickly go to triple zero web host. I'm already here, but just to show you where I go, triple zero web host.com. And I'm just going to click on get started. So this is a free web hosting service. So I'll go with a free web hosting and I'll do a free sign up. And I'll add my email. Make sure they match. There we go, I'm finally in. And I'll quickly save that pass. And I have to go to my email account and confirm this. I'll quickly do that. So I went to my uh, inbox. There was an email from Triple Zero Web Host, had a link to click. And when I clicked the link, it brought me to this page. So I'll get started. I think I'm going to go with uh, other. I've already got Chrome, so I'll skip this. So I'll just open up Notepad or any text editor. Basically, I don't need enough spaces. And I'll put in my password. And I'll submit. So I now have uh, the credentials to work with this stuff. And I'll choose Upload Your Site. I'm just going to quickly create an index.html page so I have something to look at so I can see what we presently, um, where we need to go on the web to see our file. So public, public underscore HTML, and I'll create a new file, and I'll call it index.html, and create. There we go, and we can also edit this thing. So I'm going to say HTML. like we looked at last class and I'll say head and I'll say title and I'll say Marcus Lander and in the body I'll say uh, in an h1 highest level of heading Welcome to Marcus Lander. Now that's enough. I'll just choose save. And save and close. So what I'm going to quickly do is just close triple zero web host. And I'll open up my browser again and go there. Oh, that's not what I want. There we go. So go to triple zero web host. I'll log in with those credentials, and we can see where we need to go to see that HTML document that we created. Now, I haven't been to Triple Zero Web Host for a while. They've changed their interface quite a bit. Um, we don't use PHP MyAdmin to create the database. They have their own little utility for that. And then in conjunction with the file manager, we'll add the PHP documents we need. So once we create the database, um, we can add all of the fields that are required for it as well. And I'll show you how we do that. So I'm going to go to triple zero webhost.com. 
and I'll choose sign in. It's signed in already because I memorized my credentials. And here's my websites. So I've got one there. So and there's the actual link. So it's Marcus, so the name I chose for the website, all lowercase. So it actually converted that to lowercase. I used capital, so it converted it to lowercase. I'll click on that. I'm just gonna right click and choose open link and new tab. So I can leave this one open behind it. And there's that file I created. I'm gonna right click and choose view page source. There's exactly the text I had entered in their little edit screen. So frequently, you can actually work right on your server. And these days, a lot of folks do. They do all of their work right on a remote server with applications they have installed on their desktop. All right, so now I want to click on Manage Website. When I do that, finally, I get it into a control panel area that we didn't see before, which allows us to look at a, a few things here. So we've got Power Store. We won't look at any of that, but if I click on Tools here, you see we have our File Manager, which we saw before, and we have a Database Manager. So I'm going to create a database with the very same name. Notice we have up to two databases. You generally, you can um, have one database with hundreds of tables, so all you need Notice they have a limit of 100 tables. All you need is one uh, database. And again, it does, might not like that hyphen. It's going to remove it. It says we can use it, but I don't think we can. There we go. And again, I'll copy and paste that. Very important. It may seem obvious, but uh, again, the amount of times I've had to help students with that when they forget. And it can be very frustrating to, to get that information again in certain situations. All right, so I'll be able to use those credentials with my code to access the database I'm creating. And I'll choose Create. need to save that password I already have. It says creating database. Now notice that it's actually added a bunch of inf new information here. This is the actual database name and database user. I imagine the, um, the password is the same. Now, now this is the actual path that we use. We don't use uh, an IP address. You'll see that in some applications you need an IP address. Localhost is good enough because we're working right on the server. So everything we do on the server is local to the server. We won't be able to connect this to this thing using localhost on our desktop. We'd actually The localhost there would be our own server running on our desktop, but when we're working within this area here local has local host works all right so I've got this uh, my database here and I'm gonna just grab this information because it's different from what I previously entered so that is the DB name and this is the DB user. And the password, I imagine is the same, but the host is something we also require. And that's just localhost. So this video is already quite long, but now that we have this thing, I'm just gonna quickly, quickly look at manage. 
Well, look at that. We do have a PHP my admin there. So now that we have the database created, again, we have to create the database using their tools. That's Triple Zero Web Hosts uh, control panel. You can consider this. Um, they used to have a ubiquitous um, the the C panel that everybody uses, but they've they now have. Uh, I think they've trimmed it back to be uh, just what we require. And now look, if you notice, if you click on PHP My Admin, so we actually we get to see this. Thank goodness, I was worried there. Now this is PHP My Admin, which you can think of this as um, kind of like a little bit of an integrated development environment. So generally, while working with databases, my in, my development environment I won't say um, I won't say integrated is um, is something to manage my databases, something to code with, and then something to upload upload those files. So we could do all of that within that triple zero web host um, application. Uh, again, I'll call it a C panel because that's generally what's used, but notice that we now have, here's all of our databases here. So there's that name. Let me just double check that against what I have here. ID 149241170, yep, looks good. And if I look at that database, I can click right on it. Now, I can create tables. I can run my SQL, which I'll, uh, I'll show you how to do that. This is where we add the SQL statements to interact with this database. And there's only like a handful of them. How we use them is something you need to remember um, and kind of the point of this thing. So we've got um, triple zero web host set up. I've created a database. I've got all of the information that I need. I created an HTML file, and we have we now have our URL. Let me just quickly grab my URL so I can remember what that is. Again, that's a piece of information you do want to retain as well. They don't tell you explicitly where that is. You actually have to go and find it. So what I did was close the browser, opened it up again, went back to triple zero web host, and then I was in that. Um, control panel area that they had. So user ID and I'm just going to say URL. This is my actual URL. Now as well as long as you continue to work with this triple zero web host your account will be maintained. If you let it lapse, I think it's 30 days, could be 90, I can't remember. Um, if you let it lapse it'll, it'll be cancelled and you have to create it again. So this is a good way to learn uh, about MySQL, about PHP, about PHP my admin. All right, so the next video um, will again work with the PHP and the MySQL so that we can create the application that I mentioned. It, again, it's a lot like last week's, but the difference is that the actual um, data will be retained until we as database administrators decide that we don't want that data anymore. All right, thanks so much for watching.